Yo, what up you two, what up boxing fans? We got a great night of fights ahead. Asalimo Moreno versus Abner Mares. This to me is a tremendous fight. You know, we got the classic uh, come forward, uh, you know, boxer puncher that throws a ton of punches versus the smooth, slick, defensive style, uh, defensive oriented counter puncher in Asalimo Moreno. This guy has really taken on the Floyd Mayweather style and turned it into his own. He really has, uh, he's almost like the total package for me. He's got tremendous foot movement. He has a shoulder roll down pat. Uh, he knows how to take that half step back. He can circle out. He slips a ton of punches. Um, he can throw great counter shots. You know, a great counter left uppercut and a, a great straight left hand, you know. So this is definitely going to be a good fight. Abner will bring it every single round. Uh, he's going to be in your face. He's going to look to come in on an angle, or he's going to look to, you know, either get on the inside or try and outbox you. But the problem with this is Moreno is a supreme boxer. Like, just a real special talent when you see him move on his feet. His footwork is outstanding. You know how HBO uh, gives Manny Pacquiao his, uh, credit for his foot movement? Moreno's foot movement is five times better than Manny Pacquiao. This guy's tremendous foot movement. It really reminds me of a young Floyd Mayweather. That's just me personally. I think his foot movement is tremendous, and it will give Abner Mara's problems. I think that's really the key for Moreno is to have that stamina to move around the ring for 12 rounds because he can throw great counter shots and he can lead with a perfect one too with a straight left hand uh, you know and that left hand is a rocket you know he, he's got he doesn't have too many knockouts but his punches will sting you know they definitely affect their opponents and overall uh, you know I like Abner Morris you know he's Definitely been through controversial fights. We all saw the low blows with Akbeko, um, but he avenged that uh, majority victory. He also, um, you know, Victor Chinian was his toughest fight, right? Victor Chinian really brought him into a place where he's never been cut early on. Uh, Vic really, you know, took took it straight to him. You know, Vic has really. Uh, a unique, unorthodox style that can really befuddle a lot of young, hungry, uh, talented fighters. You know, look what happened to Devaye. He got uh, ambushed by Vic Darchinian. Abner Mares was put in a similar situation, and he really showed a lot of toughness to, uh, to come back in the later rounds and turn that into a split decision victory. Although he was knocked down with the perfect straight left hand, just to note something about that left hand is Abner Mars was standing right in front of Darchinian and he actually leaned slightly to his right and that wound him up right in front of a perfectly placed straight left hand by Vic Darchinian and he just lead it with the left hand and it landed you know and if Moreno can pull a Floyd Mayweather and lead with his left hand he just might have a field day against Abner Mares. I think that could be a key to victory for Asalimo Moreno. And he was deducted a point uh, for low blows. So who knows if low blows could be a factor. Um, it's definitely a memorable moment when point deductions are made on low blows. But overall, I just see this as a perfect boxer puncher versus uh, defensive counter puncher matchup. And... Really, it comes down to this, for who wins. Who's going to really stand out and land the cleaner, effective punches? Uh, if, if Moreno does not stand out and he moves around too much and he doesn't land the left and right hands that he needs to land, then Abner Mares is going to outwork him and he's going to steal a 12-round decision. If Abner Mares is getting hit and hit and hit and he's constantly missing the target, 
I think Moreno's going to clearly uh, win in the public's eye, and he just might win on the judges' scorecards. So I think this is an extremely close fight, and I'd like Moreno to consistently be the man landing cleaner, effective shots. I just think his boxing prowess, his skills, his ability will shine through, and the foot movement that he brings to the table will give Abner Mars problems. I think his length will give Abner Mars problems. It's really all about where this fight is um, is fought. You know, it's it's Teddy Allen says it's all about real estate, and if Moreno can protect his real estate and fight at length and be able to throw and fully extend his left hand, he's definitely going to have a huge advantage. Um, overall, his defense is superb. It's one of the best in boxing, and I like Asalimo Moreno to upset Abner Mares. And I know we all want to see Mares versus Nonito Donaire, but we just might see Moreno ruin that fight. And I think Moreno's going to walk away with the victory in this matchup. I just think it's the wrong matchup for Abner Mares. I think he should have fought somebody and then. They, he should have really tried to be involved in making a Nino Denier fight because this is a really bad matchup for him. And Moreno has everything in terms of skills, ability, quickness, defense to match Abner Mara's. And I think he's just going to win. I think he's a better fighter. I think it'll be close. I think Abner Mara's could win a decision. But I'm picking Moreno. I'm going with my gut here. I think Moreno's going to do it. And that's what it is, guys. Peace out. Take care. Can't wait to see the fight. It should be a good one. Later.